UNSC Pelican Echo 216. Can you hear me? Good morning and welcome to my new live stream. And today we're doing something quite, quite unreal. Like, like I don't even know how to describe it. We're going to make a massive video alongside this stream. I didn't want to just do a stream, I wanted to do like a high production diorama video for you guys. Literally every 2020 Halo Infinite figure. I have every set. We've got the Spartan Marine gear pack figures, a load of different Marines. I customized them in many, many different ways. And the AC Pelican Bro Hammer, I think I'm gonna have him in some kind of hologram. Loads of the blind bags, Halo Heroes, the two ACs from New Infinite Blind Bags. We're gonna have a fire team Venom in metallic green. I have four different Master Chiefs from Halo Infinite already, but I decided to use the Master Chief that comes in the uh, Pelican. I just thought he was the best. I did want to use the Defense Point Showdown one, but this this one works. Then we've got all of our Banished. I mean, where do we begin? All of these elites are kind of crazy right now. So many of those blue ones, and I particularly like the dark black undersuit from the Mongoose. A load of Hunters, four of those in total. Hyperius. All of these Brutes as well. We might open a couple more if we run out of Brutes. Then a load of Elite Ultras in silver, cream, and red. We got a ton of Grunts, an absolute ton of little Billies for Jeremiah the Jackals. I added some drones and elite rangers as well, just because they're fun. We've got all of these base plates. Every single one of these is courtesy of Bam Bam Productions. He is an absolute legend. Then we've got vehicles galore. We've got the new Warthog, Skiff Intercept, Alternate Build, the Banshee, Turret Takedown, the Ghost Hijack, the Breach Exosuit, a couple of Mongooses, a Hornet. Pelican, boys. Whoa, flip that round. Pelican inbound. Now, the pelican is going to be the main focal point of this diorama. What happens at the beginning of the Halo Infinite campaign demo is that the pelican gets grounded by the Mac cannons. <laughs> also, look at it. When you compare the pelican inbound now, when you've got it on camera, and you compare it to this Mac cannon, this Mac cannon looks tiny. The cannon will have taken the pelican out. The pelican will have crashed in many different pieces. The banished are starting to round up all of the survivors, and then they're going to have a, a temporary camp that they've built around the destroyed pelican. We're also going to have some rigs here where we can suspend a hornet and a banshee uh, just in a dogfight. And we are gonna do this all in one stream. We're not stopping the stream until it's finished, but I think we're gonna make really good pace on it. I'm thinking this should like open up and that's where the wreckage is. The pelican's just sort of been smashed open, the banished, have created a fortification around it. All right, so we'll have a piece that's flown off here. Vehicles. I think the best way to start a diorama sometimes is just getting all your vehicles on the table. This string is just gonna <laughs> constantly just be going in my head. Choose the UNSC or the Banished first. Once you start putting one unit down, and then you can sort of adapt to diorama around like incoming forces. So this is gonna be a Banished camp, hence why we've got the alternate build of the skiff intercept and I'm thinking the banished have actually taken the master chief captive or maybe the master chief is still fighting inside and then the warthog will be part of the UNSC assault I'm always inspired by the opening cutscene of one of the Halo Reach missions. You boys know which one I'm talking about, where all of the UNSC are just storming in like an enormous army towards the Covenant stronghold. Detonating in three, two. I want it like that. The UNSC are just swarming this banished camp. The banished didn't really know what they were getting themselves into when they captured the UNSC's main protagonist. <laughs> Defending the camp and stopping the oncoming warthog. I love this. Oh no. Oh no. I was about to say I love it and then I broke it. I think the old build has way more to offer than the actual skiff intercept. The new ghost. I was pleasantly surprised by this. We've also got the two mongooses. So we'll have one mongoose is going after the remnants of this little pelican. One mongoose assaulting alongside the warthog. We've got a load of barricades in this tub, including a load of muzzle flares. I basically want as many muzzle flares as possible. It is the way to be. Put Billy in the pilot seat. <laughs> Hi guys! He'll go in the pilot seat of the ghost. Or maybe Billy can be hijacked by somebody while he's driving the ghost. <laughs> 
can barely hold on. Then we've got a load of barricades. One of the main things I'm going to be doing is building this banished fortress. That's like the main thing I want to be building. Just general barricades we'll put there for now. Fuel rod canister never hurt anyone. And why not just a barrel? A barrel of fun this live stream is. Now, this Breacher exosuit. I'm wondering what to do with this. Should we have it fighting the Mongoose? Should we have it inside the base fighting the Master Chief? Should we have it defending the Mac Cannon? Let me know. Watchtower here, like a little watchtower. This is from the uh, Brute Lance set. We've also got this Forerunner Spire, and we'll put that just over here for now. So I was gonna have a fire team of these Mark 7s, and we'll have one Mark 7 fighting a Brute on on the Mac Cannon. Like I said, guys, this is your diorama. Whatever you want me to build, I shall build. Okay, a legendary box of all of my very best figures. If you have a look in here, I expect like golden light to pour out of this when I open it. Oh. These are all of my bagged Seal, Halo heroes, and rare figures. We're looking here a little later because there's definitely some more banished in here. I guess the next thing we need is my construction box and we're gonna build some kind of banished barricade. So we're gonna just start by getting all of these white and gray pieces out. I just want this support structure to be basic white and gray, like it's brick by brick mortar. We're gonna have pretty much like lush green in most places. Around the pelican, we'll start with the dark green, closer to the banished camp, but then when you get close to the actual down pelican, it's like raw dirt under a load of these flat pieces to just lock them all together. A little dirt structure here, moving into like more solid green towards the base. Let's lock that in. So the banished base, it can have like a main gateway into it. Add a singular infection form under the map cannon to foreshadow the upcoming flood diorama. Whoa. Okay, a single flood form you say? I know which one to add. It's got to be our flood infected Billy the Grunt. Inside the cave was a foreign research facility on the flood and a little spore came out and infected Billy the Grunt. The Warthog, I guess, is just planning to straight up smash through that gate. Alternate silver and white bricks running along the outside. It's looking pretty fun. And then the exact same thing. We're just gonna layer these along. Hong Kong Avery. You cannot have a diorama without Avery. Well, we got two here. First of all, Avery, the ODST, has always been the mascot of my channel. We've got the UK Avery. This is the original Old Articulation United Kingdom Space Command. And then this one is the Hong Kong Space Command Avery. Custom Simon Spartan. <laughs> this is my own Spartan, so we'll definitely include him in the diorama as well. Let's lock it down, boys. All right, we need one more silver. Not bad at all. <laughs> Not bad at all. Layer on some of this color. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, that's a load more green, everybody. Got all of our figures. Here's our banished, a little elite ultra platoon. Where are all of the UNSC gonna be coming from? How many of them are there gonna be? Because there's gonna be so many. Putting down our silver elite ultras now. They'll have already slayed like quite a lot of Marines that are coming in. Let's just start locking off some of these. Okay, now we're talking, now we're talking. It's really picking up pace. Brute versus Mark Seven on the top. The Mongoose is about to face off against that Skiff Intercept Spider. We've got our Billy the Grunt. I've already got a little bit of tack there ready. Very nice. All right, then we're gonna have all of our Brutes. We'll be in a massive fight fight against the Mark 7s and some more Marines, probably the gear pack Marines. We've got these brutes, they've got a red shoulder, so they're like maybe the captains. Yeah, we'll have the two red elites inside the base as well. So the banished red ones are all like the main boys. What should we call this fire team of green Spartans? Halo 117 man, fire team Olive Vine. It's not bad, fire team Olive. Grunts being wrecked by the Hazop. So these are like the highest command banished. They'll be the ones that are fighting the Master Chief inside the compound. It's like, what do you do with all these hunters? Let's have the other two, they'll be in a pair and they'll be fighting whatever made it back here. I don't even know yet. There'll be something there. So we're building this Master Chief standoff. The Master Chief needs a nice assault rifle. The hunter is sort of flailing in the air as the Master Chief has boarded him. He's jumped on top of the hunter. He's got a grunt in his hand as well. He's taken no prisoners today. Master Chief. Let's have him shoot in a jackal. If your assault rifle cannot fit a muzzle flare on. Grab yourself a piece of tack, 
pull off like the absolute tiniest amount possible. Now that's pretty cool. We've got the AC Trailblazer and also the Master Chief from Infinite Series 1. The Jackal is not having any of this, he's running for it. <laughs> I always say with a diorama, have it fluid, you know? Just figure it out as it goes along. So I, I had the Master Chief looking down at the Jackal, but now he's shooting the Jackal, but his reflexes have already told him that Elite is the next priority target. We're gonna have the Brutes chasing after the Master Chief. This one's gonna try and get him with the Shock Rifle. Whatever the Shock Rifle does, we don't even know what it does in game yet. The Spartan Trailblazer, who's also snuck into the camp. This is like one of the main pieces of the diorama. We need a lot of muzzle flares going on. All the snipers. We got that Convert Ops EVA coming in. Really nice. And then do we have any more snipers? He's gonna be trying to plant the flag somewhere more symbolic than anything that they're that they're pushing ground. Next is gonna be these brutes. Let's get our brutey boys. Currently, we've got these Spartans here, our Mark 7s. We're in business there, Mark 7. Let's see what your teammates can muster up. So we'll have a couple of them fighting this renegade hunter. Captain on top of the turret. Custom domain Spartan. He'll have the flamethrower from the Halo Hero Series 5 Master Chief. Flamethrower straight in the face. Couple more little base plates. We'll have one Mark 7 and he's gonna be trying to take out the Brute. It's sort of like across flames there. This Brute is charging straight at this Marine Sniper's Magnum. This Mark 7 assaulting this Brute. The muzzle flares, they come in uh, two pieces, but really I think it's better to just detach them and then you can have just two separate muzzle flares to be fair. I mean, why not? Face reveal for Craig. So there's Craig. <laughs> Just really angry there. Another one that's been shot dead here. And maybe there's one brute that's still alive that is charging in here. Let's work on our Warthog diorama. We're currently on an hour and a half on this stream and honestly, we're doing really well. So we've done the Defense Point Showdown mostly. You can't have a diorama without suicide grunts. Blowing things up, just getting in the way. Billy, no, don't do it. You have so much to live for. One Marine crawling from inside the wreckage there. Coming out from the side here. Don't give up on me now. We have another Spec Ops Spartan. I love this Bulldog with the added scope on top. I think it's so sweet. Machine gun in hand. This Hazard is taking care of business. Taking care of business. The Grunts know that there's no way that they can destroy a turret. So they may as well just try and charge it. One more Grunt coming in. And that's being run over by the Mongoose right now. Another Grunt running from over here. So let's get some more Marines in play. Noble Six's helmet as requested by the chair. Remember each. Let's get some marine reinforcements. Gear pack marines charging in. I love this one. This is one of my favorite customs. Like, just, it's so cool with the bayonet. I absolutely love it. Storming in. Let's have some more marines first. Shooting at the grunts. Marines? I guess marines are okay to aiming. You don't see them getting as much hate as stormtroopers. I think they're pretty good. Muzzle flare on that battle rifle. This one's got an SMG. We haven't got anyone in this warthog. We need some drivers. We need some gunners. David's on the machine gun turret as requested charging in with two grenades suicide marine against suicide grunt demolition marine i think he's gonna pay less attention to the grunt and more attention to that hunter that's coming in fighting the spartan tack pad marine he's uh i just absolutely love this tack pad four sandbags everyone else is providing cover fire for him get behind me sir the next thing we're gonna do is work on our elite ultra setup this pelican pilot i'm afraid he's uh he's not gonna have done too well in this diorama. Inside are all of these chips dubos. We'll have more over here, but basically the Pelican was carrying a lot of Marines when it went down, unfortunately. Yeah, we've got all of these. They were taken out pretty early on. It's not your day to day, guys. Assault rifles everywhere. Then again, most days in Halo are unfortunate for the Marines there. There's a lot of casualties. Attach into the back of his torso so the elite can just hold him and suspend him in the air. Sorry, bro hammer. He didn't make it. So I really wanted to incorporate the AC Pelican bro hammer. Basically, there's gonna be a corresponding transmission from his last known position to sort of like desperately plead for help. That's why the uh, UNSC are here because he sent out this uh, emergency beacon. Help me guys, I'm about to be stabbed. Please guys, reinforce me. 
I'm dying. The Banished are defending the UNSC from this side, but the UNSC are also attacking from the rear. So Billy the Grunt has been charging in. Then we've got uh, one more Craig. Oh, so Billy the Grunt has accidentally splattered this Craig. Fire Team Olive Vine here. This rod is a perfect way for this Hazop to be circling through the air. The Master Chief is the only real objective here. They're trying to get there as quick as possible. The other one is running at this character. Let me know in the chat which should the Jackal be charging at. We'll have that orange recon blasting the jackal who should this brute be fighting there we go we got some spartans in the action the anubis is charging up the breacho exosuit's body and just hammering him straight in the face <laughs> More and more base plates here. Hunter number one and hunter number two. Okay, this is my bag of like extra Halo heroes, things like that. Just some really cool figures. Four of these nicely colored Halo heroes weapons. The first one I just put down, the England Avery, literally just representing where I lived in England. Hong Kong Avery, signifying the transition to the domain. Ain't that a celebration? Once we finish the diorama, we're gonna open the vault. You guys can tell me which specific Halo heroes you want, where on the diorama. Halo Heroes Series 11 figures. They're charging this exosuit. An EVA will give him a muzzle flare. Spartan Soldier Dogface. This Spartan Warmaster. I added the turret there. Then we've got these two actual barricades to really just lock off the fortress, you know? Imperial Grunt. Billy, you've got to defend your homeland. This is looking actually so cool. So nice and fleshed out. We've got all of these blue boys and they're gonna make our water, just like a little lake. Ain't too shabby, eh? Ain't too shabby. These guys, Hemby, just standing in the water. They've been keeping this pool guard. Why have they been keeping this pool guard, you may ask? There's a dead Spartan inside. Those two didn't make it, but those elites are guarding the pool from trespassers. The guy's tracking beacon is still live, so they're going to get some unexpected company. And he's just taken out an elite dual wield plasma rifles. Let's put this rod in here and we'll suspend him off the floor. Plasma launcher. There we go. He's running away from that Spartan pretty much. That's our water structure. Jump pack elite rangers right on top of the pelican alongside our boy Hyperius and he's being choked out by the elite. We've got some very special Spartans here fighting the elite on this rocky terrain. Ladies and gentlemen, we have finished the main section of this diorama. They're a seriously cool little fire team firing toward that jackal. Some criticisms of my diorama is that they're too full, that there's too many figures. I say nonsense. You just can't have too many figures on these dioramas. All of my like most prized figures, we've got to add the last vehicles of this diorama. And they involve the ceiling. <laughs> So we are going to attempt to string vehicles from this ceiling. We got a big bag of yarn <laughs> and we're going to try and display these vehicles from the ceiling. First of all, I need a pair of scissors. Banshee versus Hornet or Hornet versus Banshee. Which one's it going to be, boys? Welcome to Knitting with the Domain. We don't know if the Hornet's confirmed for Halo Infinite. I sure hope so. All right, so we got our two lots of strings here. <laughs> And we're gonna try and suspend them from the ceiling. So we'll have the Hornet up high. Oh, I've got to tie it off. Hornet secured. We got ourselves a Hornet. I feel like this Banshee's gonna be a little more difficult to actually like suspend properly. We're gonna tie this off and then we're gonna see if we need to attach like a third string to angle it better. Okay, yeah, yeah. That's good. It's flying to the side, he's strafing. The Hornet was chasing after the Banshee. The Banshee just quickly pulled to the right. We got an aerial dogfight on our diorama. That's wild. We are on about the three hour 40 mark. We gotta have Decimus taking out the UNSC here. This is such a crazy cool figure. Shipmaster Letvolia. We need to have him in the fight. The bad boy himself, Atriox. We'll have them as more UNSC casualties. Okay, last one will be Spartan Palmer. And then we've got all we need for this diorama. All right, so that's the Spartan Helljumper. Spartan Palmer leading the Marines there. Banished leaders leading an assault on the downed Pelican. Decimus smashing down that Marine. That's some more brutes. Atriox just standing proud over his troops. And then the last figure on the diorama, Shipmaster Letvalier. We have got every single figure on this diorama. This is absolutely 
nuts, guys. I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. Free falling off the hornet, as per request from the chat. <laughs> Never before has something like this been attempted. A diorama that was genuinely built from the ground up with the community. You guys were such a massive part of this, whether you were just egging me on or suggesting so many little details that went into this diorama. Certainly maybe the biggest diorama figure count wise, like this is outrageous. The UNSC forces, they are storming this banished compound and they tried to capture the Master Chief. They weren't very successful, but they did slay all of his marine brothers. The Brohammer, who sent out his last coordinates via hologram only hours ago. This epic standoff of Brutes versus Spartans, mostly Mark 7s, taking down the Breacher exosuit with the Anubis and Gravity Hammer in hand. The SS Motion and the Domain Avery fighting off against these two hunters together with some Spartan backup. Leading into this elite camp that's protecting these assets that went down during the Pelican crash. These Spartans facing off against these elites here. The only sad thing is I've got to take it apart. We are on the road to 30k subscribers. I'm going to be uploading almost every day up until that point. Stay awesome out there. The domain is signing off.